So it's totally possible to get legendaries in the brand new update in Outriders. What's up everybody? Welcome back to some more Outriders videos right here on this channel. Of course, today let's talk about the newly improved methods to farm legendaries in the free demo. Of course, there's been a number of changes with today's update, but luckily enough, there are some new methods that in my personal opinion are way better and way more engaging. So let's jump right into it. By the way, today's video has been brought to you thanks to Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming sells games at some of the cheapest prices you can find around. Like for example, you can get Outriders right now 35% cheaper using my links in the description box down below. Now if you haven't been paying attention to the recent patch notes, there's been a pretty sizable update like an hour ago or so that did bring in some significant changes to loot farming. First of all, the fact that chests no longer drop legendary items in the free demo is a big one so if you're wasting your time on that yeah you're basically doing just that you're wasting time if you're opening up chest at the current time also the epics have been completely removed within the demo from the shopkeepers so it's no longer worth it to farm those on pcs on the other hand we did get two big advantages one of them is the fact that side quests now provide additional rewards upon repeats and second of all the drop rates at the very least from my experience have been improved from the tougher enemies not just the bosses. In fact, you can see me killing one of the sniper elites right here and he dropped a legendary right there which never happened before by the way and it was a pretty good one as well. So let's begin of course with the very first method that I suggest you go ahead and do so and one of the best missions that I'm farming right now is payback that you can find right here in the crossroads checkpoint. Now the reason this is so awesome is because while well, the quest giver is right there by the entrance so super close to the teleport point but most important it is absolutely packed with enemies quite a number of them are like high-end brutes like these ones right here there's also two snipers that can spawn in this zone so if you kill those big brutes and these snipers these right now give you the best chances to have a legendary though take that with a huge grain of salt when i'm saying best chances i mean the best relatively to what's currently at this low level and in the free demo obviously you will need a ton of tries to even get a legendary in the first place but it is not impossible so you have two options right here you can either just go ahead clear up these bigger brutes that you see especially the ones that spawn at the top of the zone and then let off the other enemies like the smaller ones to kill you in this case you might want to keep a couple of them to do that or if you're like me and also want the end reward from the mission and an additional chance at another legendary you can also go in the boss room and take the boss down as well as the ads. Here is where the second method comes into play and as I've said now if you finish a side mission on repeat it's going to give you a reward every single time and you're going to get another chance for that reward to be a legendary instead. So the best way to notice if you just got a reward from one of these quests is to first make sure that you have none of those like yellow arrows next to an item so that you can easily spot one when a new one is added in your inventory so just like hover for a split second over your entire inventory over each item that has that arrow and then go in and give in the quest to the quest giver once you go through the dialogue and go back into your inventory you will notice that yeah there's a new item right there and i did test this against multiple quests i've done a ton of these on repeat ever since the new update and every single time the reward was at least rare quality so at the very least if you're not getting a legendary if you're starting a brand new character you get some pretty decent chances to further equip him with like really awesome rares and get ready for the full game once that happens but as i was saying since brutes and high-end enemies can drop legendary rewards right now the best way to farm a ton of these in a very short amount of time is going to do a repeat of a certain part of the main campaign the best way to do this is to go ahead and pick that story point the second one at the top right there since that brings you all the way to the beginning but this is the part of the main campaign 
campaign that you're going to want to farm next is going to be right before entering the solar tower and fighting the end boss because in this area you're actually going to encounter a ton of high-end enemies and about a handful of brutes at the very same time so what I recommend doing in this case is to just go all the way in the back pick up all of the enemies and try to aggro as much as possible all the way up until you get like those 10 to 20 enemies surrounding you from this point on if you're a trickster or a devastator it's super easy to just pack them all together and then either pop a bubble and a slice or if the devastator is your character then just like jump up in the air and slam into the ground and try to take as many of the high-end brutes as possible now you're gonna see a number of these dropping a ton of well items in this case some of these could be rare or some of them could be uncommon but again this is also going to give you a chance at some additional legendaries as well with the same rates as before but what I recommend doing in this case is to also try to keep a couple or at least one of these enemies alive through this process so that they can kill you and make you respawn so that you can begin this from the previous checkpoint and not have to restart the entire mission from the very beginning. I would also suggest to maybe keep away a couple of these enemies from those fires on the ground since they can absolutely die and you need to restart pretty much everything from the very beginning. So maybe move away from those and only pick off one by one each of the remaining smaller brutes. But as I've said, this is it with the major ones. Now there's still some other methods left in the game like yes you can totally go ahead and still farm that captain the terra infirma mission has not been nerfed as a matter of fact the drop chance from the boss should be pretty much the same as it was previously so you can go in take him down like one quick attack against him you can even ignore all of the other enemies and just take down the captain and then let um, the other ones like kill you so you can repeat it and pretty much go through the same process as i've explained before now i keep getting this question a lot why would you even do this in the free demo since you're going to out level this gear anyway and I, I can have to keep explaining myself every single video but as I've said again and again it's because you get those precious mods that you can use on your character even at a high level and apply it to other pieces of gear because crafting gives you that option so that is the main reason the second reason is because we just like it we like farming legendaries it doesn't matter what it is we're gonna do it and we're gonna continue doing it all the way up until launch day and beyond that this is it though with the update let me know down below if you got any well legendaries and what method you use and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one